Now, what actually killed Eva, something even more shocking than all the other injuries put together. It was several uh, large stab wounds in her neck. In her spinal column. In her spinal column. Exactly. And there, not far from Eva's body, detectives found a small, bloody pocket knife. And they could hardly miss seeing the large flower pot that appeared to have been shattered on her head. The first thing that jumped out at you is the, uh, lack of a better term, mayhem. But there were plenty of other clues at the crime scene that seemed to back up young Mr. Wright's story that he and Eva had come to Catalina to party for romance, not violence. There was that half a bottle of tequila sitting on the table. There were several empty beer bottles. There was a five dollar bill rolled up with cocaine residue with white powder that's the like a of cocaine on the table. They found cards on the table too, and a scorebook with the results of several hands of gin rummy. Strange. All kinds of evidence of an intimate evening. And yet there on the floor by the bed was the carnage of what had to be a bloody rampage. There were one, two people there. So only he knows whether or not there was a motive. Or whether they got in a light argument or a, a little pushing match over something. An argument is one thing, but a brutal murder like this is quite another. It didn't make any sense. Why in the world would Stephen Rice do such a thing, especially to his girlfriend? Rice, as it turned out, was eager to explain. I woke up looking at him fine. I think I was looking at it. Well, I remember dreaming about being in a concert. What was concert about? Yeah, I think it could have been in a Twitter or something. I think I was about to rent for some reason. But it, it had nothing to do with Ava. I was dreaming about Ava. He didn't say something to kill her. He said he was sitting on the bed and she was still alive and she was moaning. And he saw the last race was coming in. And he said, Again, the curtain in the air that comes to the bomb. That was what I do, shark fishing. And I said, why didn't you recognize that? And he says, when I was a commercial fisherman, that's the way we took a shark. So he took a knife and set it with a spinal and we incapacitated the shark. And so said Wright, he must have done just the same thing to Eva. He somehow she was an intruder. Must have. But it was really only a guess. Wright insisted he remembered virtually nothing about his violent attack on Eva. It's been flashing, I don't, you know, I really, I mean, it's hard to believe, but uh, I also have other roommates that are flushing through the water. Sleepwalk. Wow, Wright's made the most remarkable claim. This horrible violence grew out of a completely unconscious sleepwalking episode. He told us that he has reoccurring sleepwalking episodes, and this time, he must have been sleeping walking when it happened. Was this a clever ruse?